never had an outside ball before. So we got Starbucks, but they are extortionate prices. Like, very, like this was £6.20 and yours was like I got the a sandwich, same. so it's like £11. Uh, spent £11, which was just ridiculous. But, you know, we came like three hours early, so we have nothing else to do. Hi everyone, welcome to my first ever travel vlog. This is my first ever time traveling by myself with a friend and not with family. So come along with me for this new and exciting journey. We have landed and now we're gonna go try and find an Uber. <laughs> We've finally gone through immigration and now we're gonna get Uber! Okay, it looks like, do you know what, I wish I could rent a car because it would be so easy but I can't drive on the other side of the road. I feel like that would be too hard. Just got to our Airbnb and it's so pretty! It's literally stunning. I didn't realize we had like a sea view. It's so pretty. Loads of seafood restaurants and we saw a market that we want to go to because we want to get some like snacks and fruit. I'll show you the rest of the room. It's really pretty. There's just so much like color everywhere. It's so cute. Like this is so me. Like look how cute they are. They are like ceramic and hand painted. It's stunning. And this tile. Are you kidding? This tile is so pretty. And everything is like hand painted and like wooden and like wooden carved. Oh my god, Khadija, they left us out little chocolates. And a banana. Oh, it's so cute. I mean, this chandelier is insane. Like, are you kidding? It's so pretty. Literally so pretty. And this... It's literally stunning. Like, someone's painted that. Like, that is hand-painted. And it's, it smells really weird, but it smells so good. It smells like... Oh, it smells like... Just really nice wood. It just smells so good. And they've painted the bed as well. Like... There's just so much detail in it. Oh, I love it. I don't know what outfit to wear. I think we're gonna go with like a blue theme. I bought this dress, it was on sale. I think it was like 10 or 15 pounds down to like five. And I was like, oh my God, I gotta get that. So we're just getting ready to go out for dinner tonight. And I've obviously put way too much concealer on and it's just too light for my face, but you know, we're just gonna go with it. So as I said earlier, this is my first time like traveling without family and kind of like by myself with a friend. So it's a totally new experience. In 2023, we are being an independent girly and doing things by ourselves. So I recently just got this new mascara and someone commented on one of my TikToks that I posted, oh, you look really nice, but you look so much better without mascara. So thanks a lot. I'm never gonna wear mascara again. The view at our Airbnb balcony was so pretty and I realised that tonight was a strawberry moon and look how nice she looks. The place we went to dinner was so good, like we got the best ravioli pasta and like a really nice melt in the middle pudding dessert. Good morning everyone, today is our second day in Zadar and we're just going to take it easy but try and explore as much as we can whilst we're here. And obviously you got to put sun cream on for the day because the UV is kind of high here and I literally burn in England. Before we went on the trip I decided that I was going to make an entire new collection like two days before we left 
obviously such a Pisces what can I say and I did I did I made a whole new collection and I brought it to take photos of me here so I've had a lot of people asking when this is gonna come out and it is out today so happy shopping I will link my website down below I'm pretty sure that this is genuinely my like favorite collection to date just because like recently since I've left uni I've had so much more time to create I know I made this two days before my holiday but you know let's ignore that fact I just feel like I can create for myself now and I have like the abilities and the time to do so and I just feel like everything I'm making now is just completely for me When I woke up this morning, there was a huge like cruise bow outside and it woke me up about 6 a.m. because it let out a massive horn. Our whole Airbnb is just the cutest thing I've ever seen in my entire life and I just love it so much. And I'm gonna eat the little banana and chocolate that the Airbnb host left for us. Whenever I'm away, like on holiday, I'm always the first person to wake up. I don't know what it is, I'm nothing like this back at home, but I just get this like adrenaline rush when I'm on holiday. Like it's like a holiday high, like I'm up so early. I was up like four hours before my friend and I was just, I don't even know what I was doing. And now I'm getting ready, my friend is still asleep. I don't know what it is, I just love waking up early on holiday. There's just something about it, it makes me so productive. So I'm putting on this seashell necklace that I made on like a really cute little lace band and what I love about it is you can adjust it so it can be like a choker or a necklace. I think that's him, that's it. Okay, we're about, just about to get into our Uber. Okay, so we walked around for literally what felt like the entire day to find a place to eat and just nowhere looked that nice and honestly we settled with this place and the people were so rude and the food was so bad. Look at this absolute side eye the guy gives us. <laughs> We had a really bad bolt experience here. Two. <laughs> Two. Two. Really. The first one was princesses. The second one went, I need food, I need baby. Food, I need food, baby. Oh, and you just kept, and you were giving him options for food, and he was like, I need food. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> this place is food nice, really but just ignore me. <laughs> Good morning everyone, today we are leaving Zadar for the next destination which is Split and we are getting a coach there which is about two and a half hours to three hours to get there and we went with Flexibus, I think that's what they're called. Honestly, it was kind of an easy drive, I did hit my head and think I had a concussion but you know, that's not their fault. At one point we got so close to like the edge of a cliff but it was so pretty. I was absolutely terrified. So this is our second Airbnb in Split. Honestly, super cute. Not as cute as the first one, but I still love it regardless. And we just went to the market to get some bits and bobs to eat whilst we're here because we have ended up spending so much money on food. Anyway, the shopping wasn't even that cheap. I think it was like 25 euros for everything. But at least it'll save us a little bit of money.
am such an overpacker when it comes to packing for holidays and I had so many outfits left that I needed to like take content with so I decided to get everything out of my bag and kind of like just put it out on the rails and stuff so I knew what I had left but honestly who brings like 20 outfits for a five day trip me I do and look at how cute all of my outfits are so don't even try and tell me that I didn't need them all because I obviously did We're going out for dinner today and all of the jewellery that I'm wearing is made by me. So if you want to get any of these pieces, they are live on my site right now. So we decided to go out for dinner and we found this really cute little place where we got some pesto pasta. Again, we love a pesto pasta. <laughs> We're gonna get to some souvenir shops. Got to sell some water. I still want some ice cream to be fair, but I didn't really like the ice cream in the other shop. Yeah, I'm gonna go into this shop. There are so many cats. That one was so friendly. I know. Look, this, 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 there was literally like six there. I think. Oh my god, that's adorable. Oh, they're so sweet. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, oh. I should be in a. Good morning, when we woke up today we heard a thunderstorm which was crazy because it was so warm and nice the day before so we couldn't really do much in the morning but then it all cleared up and it was really sunny and nice towards the afternoon so we decided to go check out the split markets and the night before when we were walking we came across this place but it was shut and we found that they did acai bowls and honestly i've never tried them before and i was obsessed it was so good i see some roman is that right yeah yeah some roman buildings I'm gonna get some pistachio. They look so good though, all of them. Especially this, this looks really good. <laughs> Back to the markets, then get Uber from there. Yeah. Woo! Wonder what it's like inside. I found so many cute things at this second hand shop and it was all very cheap but in the end I could only get two things because it was cash only I got the little cherry skirt and a little cute orangey top but yeah I was really upset I had to leave pretty much everything So my friend wasn't feeling too well and decided to stay at home for the rest of the day but I wanted to go out and explore the split beach which was nearby to our airbnb so I had a cute little solo day reading my new book and just swimming and watching the ocean and it was so relaxing and exactly what I needed on our last day here.
so i think that if you're a small business owner you will definitely relate to this but whenever you go on holiday you're not really on holiday you're still a small business owner first and everywhere you go you will bring all of your jewelry because everywhere is a content opportunity i had a little swim after taking some photos of my jewelry and honestly the water was so nice and so warm and there was pretty much no one on this entire beach i have literally got the entire beach to myself Thank you. <laughs> yes. Today is our last day in Croatia and we have to make our way back to Zadar again on the coach but we found a slightly quicker one, about an hour less, so the journey was so much easier. We wandered around some of the markets and some of the city centre in Zadar when we got there and we found a really nice place for food. It's the same place that did the matcha latte and the matcha cake. But we didn't realize they did food and it was so good and obviously got another matcha cake because it was amazing and i've never had one this good before <laughs> i've had such a fun experience in croatia and i would recommend everyone to go i have made a little video on tiktok with some recommendations of everywhere that we went some of the places that you've seen on this video I'll link down below if any of you are wanting to check those out when you go to Croatia. The whole flight back, I had this whole road to myself. Honestly, how amazing is that? I don't think I've ever had that on a plane. And our plane back was only £19. You know what, Ryanair is so good. We love Ryanair. Thank you to coming along on this trip with me and I hope you enjoyed this video. I am heading off to Spain at the end of this week, so keep a lookout for my new Travel Diaries vlog.